Hello guys, today we're going to talk about the fundamental physics, as I said before. We're going to have some good description to it. Again, <coughs> some chapters, as you can see from the PowerPoint. I've taken from uh, Jonathan Dowling. And uh, so let's begin. We're going to begin with uh, gravitation and Newton's law of gravity, so resistance, gravitation, potential energy. Of course, with Gauss law and Kepler's escape speed, or the mechanism, rocket science, electric charge, conductors, and insulators. Uh, Columbus law, organization, observation principle for the charge, electrical fields, and so on. So let us start with gravitation. This is taken from NASA, NASA gravity recovery and climate experiment. So in Newton's uh, laws of gravitation, or as I said, they made the force be the view. F is equal to G multiplies M1 times M2 over R square. This is the Newton's law of gravitation. As you know, G is uh, 6.67 times 10 to the power negative eleven. <coughs> but in this case, M1 and M2 are the masses of particles, and R is the distance between them, and G is gravitational constant, as I said. What is the value of G? Uh, uh, G with a uh, capital G. Don't forget, we have another G for gravity, which is negative 9.98. This is the constant of it. <coughs> So let's check the animation here. This is a pull and particle one, and this is a particle two. And how it goes. As you can see, we have now with the R from one to two, and then F for the force there. So now let's draw the vector of this tail and particle one to show the pulling, how it is done. And now we have a unit vector points along the radical radial axis. The gravitational force in particle 1 to the particle 2 is an interactive force because particle 1 is attracted to particle 2, that's why. And the force is directed along with the radial coordinate axis. When R is extended from particle 1 through the particle 2. And the third one, we have the uh, unit vector, which is the direction of unit vector along the R axis. The Newton's law of gravitation, how to measure Newton's constant. This is done by Henry Cavendish, the Jewish. This is a standard experiment with a mirror, and the light source with a la laser. And now it's uh, like uh, directed there, as you can see, which is really cool. I've seen some experiment he done here with the quantum mechanics, which is really cool. It is done by uh, Brian Cox, which is a great scientist, and I like him. <coughs> here, the Cavendish experiment it is measured by cos capital G, 6.67 times 10 in the, in the power negative 11, and m square per kilogram square. Also, it was first direct confirmation of the inverse square law. I'm pretty sure that you might have seen this formula, and where G is a constant of proportionality. This is the, the formula of inverse square law. M capital M divides M, uh, lower lowercase, over R square. But don't forget we have the inverse here. As you have known from the digital logic, uh, First that I've done, we have some inverses here with the light bulb, but in this case, in the metal physics, we have this, this uh, type of sign. So gravitation, the principle of superposition. For any interacting particles, we can write the principle of superposition for the gravitational forces in particle 1 as uh, F1 net, because it is superposition, and F12 plus F13, don't forget this one. This uh, lower, uh, this upper bar, F13, F14, F15, and uh, here F1 net is the net force on particle one. 
to the other, other, other particles, and for example, F13 is the force from particle 1, from particle 2, etc. Therefore, we come up with a formula where F1 net is equal to sum, the sum of n, where i is equal to, equal to 2, and the function is Fyi. The computation of force in a particle from a real extended object can be expressed in this case with the integral notation or the sum f1 is equal to sum of df. Here the integral is taken over to the entire extended object. And we have the question here how do you calculate the total force on central mass if all masses are equal? Mm, as I said before, we have an zero position here. F1 net, the F1n, and later on we can find the entire extended object. <laughs> so, a uniform spherical shell of matter attracts a particle that is a solid shell as if all the shell's mass were concentrated at its center. So, let's check the uh, figure 30.3 where the able pulls up on the uh, Earth, it just started as the earth goes down the able because this is a new to slow. Uh, let me make it really easy to you. Whatever force uh, uh, object will, will uh, push, it will get it back because this is an interaction of the new to slow. And the force on the able is the same. Uh, If this is saving for sorry about that. I didn't go anywhere. I'm still here in the second picture. I'm sorry about this part. So I said before I'm in college. And he does all the weird things I ever seen in my life. Literally the weirdest things ever. Like god damn. Girls are naked here. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. What the fuck was that? Oh my god, Jesus Christ. So let's begin with uh, the second picture. The force in the apple is the same as all the Earth's mass is squashed to the center. As you can see from the illustration here, we have uh, three components here. S and M, and we have some S here. Capital, small s, R. The theta, theta is the angle in the end. <coughs> As you can see where it starts and it ends or at the <coughs> 180 angle. So let's check the F net, the F up and the F down. Let's check the X there, X and Z. So let's begin with it. The components of for X in the direction cancel out by symmetry. Yes, you can see here, for example, you see the same, you see, ba -ba. with up and down by the net. The coming of the net force in the z, z direction add up by symmetry, yeah, because uh, zeta is mainly known as the third dimension, but in this case we have just um, turned the uh, axis upside down. For the x, this is the upper side, and the zeta on the uh, lower side. And total net force integrates up as if all the mass of the shell were in the center. So this is the formula. Don't worry, we'll try to simplify it later. Df n over net plus df s net is equal to g multiplies dm times m lowercase. And all this multiply by y, 1 over r minus r squared plus 1 over r plus r squared. Don't forget this dot notation here. We have r, sorry about that, and we have r lowercase and r uppercase. And, this, and the g multiplies dm times m 2 over r squared. 
is a really simplified version of it. Applying the shell of those concentric shells proves they can treat earth in uniform sphere as if all mass is at its center. Hmm, as you see, we have a 3D diagram here. I'm uh, focusing on that because this is a great example of how it, how it works. And then you just know the rotation, the shell game, the sketch of growth. This is mainly done by Catalyst 3 and 2 Trick Moral. Actually, don't worry about this one because we're on the Calculus 2 in my courses. Well, later on, after the first semester, I'll introduce Calculus 3, which is really, really easy. Don't worry about that. Let's we'll try to make it really simplified. So, DFA. <coughs> it's called the G times M plus DM over S squared. This is a law of gravitation. So df net is equal to df up cosine theta is equal to g times m times dm over s squared cosine theta. This is the trigonometry. <coughs> Let's say the sigma is equal to m, m capital over 4 pi r squared. This is the surface mass density of shell. da is equal to 2, 2 pi r squared sine theta d theta. dm is equal to sigma da is equal to 1 over 2 m sine theta d theta. <coughs> don't forget that just theta is just the angle, okay? Don't worry, don't forget it. So let's check the f net on the integral notation or your shell or sum. This is like a, a extended version of sum. As you can see, it's like the sum is just like this. I cannot write it down, you know. Okay, no problem. Um, what is it here? Okay, okay, no problem. So DF is the GM capital, the plus M lowercase, over two. The still in the integral notation, or the shell, cosine theta, sine theta, d uh, theta over square. This is the law of cosine, as you can see. Cosine theta is the R square plus S square minus. Uh, R capital square over 2 multiplies R RS. And we have here the sine theta, which is uh, S over R multiplies capital R DS. <coughs> so this, mm, all this form of this notation provides us some QAD. F net is so G M, G, G capital multiplies M capital. In the end of case, over 4 square r. With the integral with a limited version, r plus r square, r uh, capital, or, and uh, a, which is r minus r capital. Later on, if you have enough from integrals, we know you can use b minus a. In this case, it's r plus r and r minus r. So let's use this one, i plus r squared minus r squared over s squared ds. And this is equal all this to the gm capital that defines m over case of r squared. Super, super cool. Well, we are on the first checkpoint, the particle is to be placed in turn, a size for objects, each mass. Uh, okay, now let's start here. A large uniform also a sphere. A large uniform sphere a shell. A small uniform so a sphere and a small uniform shell. Okay, in each situation, the distance between the particle and the center object is d. After read the objects according to the magnitude of the gravitational force, they exert in the particle greatest force. And the uniform spherical shell of matter attracts a particle that is outside the shell as all the shell mass were contracted at its center. Mm, see, this makes more sense now. So you can see from one, a large uniform solid sphere, and the, this is the rays D to P. And we have two here too, a large uniform spherical shell where 
and on B, it's connected by D ray to the shell. And here three, we have this really small uniform slit sphere from D to B, or M to B, this is a D ray, and four, we have a small uniform shell. And in each of the situation that this unit particle in the center of it is D. So let's do it, FP1 is equal to F52, is equal to FP3 is FP4. So even while this is a, like this from notation of it, it still is come to the same notation. So the net gravitational force it shows in this figure uh, 30.4 shows an arrangement of three particles, particle 1 of mass m1 and is equal to 6.0 kg and particle 2 and 3 of mass m2 is equal to m3 which is to 4 kg and this m a is equal to 2, 2 cm and it is the net gravitational force 1 net on the particle 1 to the other particles so which way does the force vector on m1 point? Mm, let's see because we want the force it pulls in particle 1, not the other force in other particles. Mm, let me check it, yes. As you can see here, M1, we have an A and 2A, which is 2 times this one, we have 2 times the scalar value. And M2, we just want A. Oh my god. Mm, in order to get the correct angle, you must draw the vectors, of course. And as I said, we do it upside uh, like this side and later on you can use like this and you find connection it is on f13 so the calculation f12 to gm1 times gm2 over a square is this for the value 6.67 times 10 negative 11 cubed over kilogram times s square multiply 6 kilograms times 4 24 over 0 0.020 20 m square let's come to value, let's simplify it ok and we'll get this value 4.0 0, 0 times 10 to the 6 and or the net um, I first I'm not saying you don't but I'm pretty sure right also don't mess with this one. Let's begin this. Mm -hmm. F13 is equal to GM1 M3. Over 2 a square and circle values on this side now. It's Borat. I just like the vacation that Borat will just launch. Like, oh, that's really cool. Today is Friday. Hopefully, I'm gonna see some naked girl here. <laughs> no problem. I'll check my door. Jesus Christ. Okay, so let's see the price. Simple C7 times 10 to the power negative 11 and Q over kilogram. That was a price. That's fine. Okay, 24. And we come to this value. In this case, we have uh, the S square here. S in this uh, A in this case, which is A, which is 0 0.020 m square. And this is side, which is 2A divided by 2, becomes 0 0.040 m square. And we count this value one time one times ten to negative six n the net. <laughs> so f on net is equal to the square root of f on two to square 
plus negative f13 square is equal to square root of 4 times 10 to the 6 newton square plus negative 1 times 10 to the 6 newton square. And it is all equal to 4 by 1 times 10 to the 6 newton. Newton, net, sorry about that. Relative to the positive direction of the x and x axis, the direction of f1, yeah. so the theta is equal to 10 inverse of theta 2 over negative f13, so to 10 inverse. Let's put the values for time with positive space. 4 times 10 to the negative 6 newton, over negative 1 times negative 6 newton. This is negative 6, 76 degree. Oh my god, like this. But we have to find only the right angle if we do like this. Okay. And we'll check the positive values here and come some values over us, which is uh, 104, 104. And of course, with calculators, this is done calculators, inverse station, can give this angel, and uh, yep, 104. And as I said before, we have to draw the vectors. Here another checkpoint. The figure shows for arrangement of three particles of equal masses. Now we have to run we arrange this according to money to the net gravitational force on the particle labeled M for case. Where the first in the rate rate two is the direction of the first color of the line of the D. Or the line deck D upper case. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see from here D so M. We have a upside to the a lower case. Uh -huh, okay, okay, okay. So we have using the Newton's law equation. We have to double this because it's one of the fourth of force. As you can see. Puff, puff. And the X are related by this and this. So we have to use it. Okay, this and this will so become like this. Of course, the inverse of it. This one, which is, if you don't understand this one, you can like um, turn it upside down. And this one too. If you are good with linear algebra, you can highly see some connection here. Yes. And here and right there. So F1 is greater than F2, it's equal to F4, it's greater than F3. Let's check it. F1 is uh, greater than F2, okay. It's the same as F4, which is great. It's correct. In the in the arrangement too. Is the Russian network also on line length? Or? No, because look how far it is to the D. This is so much closer. <coughs> so we have a rotation in our surface. If the particle is released, it will fall toward the center force. As a result of rotation force with acceleration. Uh, we shall. Mm, call the gravitational acceleration Ag Newton's in second law. Just as the magnitude F and G are related by F to the N A G. <laughs> they are this uniform sphere of mass and magnitude of gravitational force from Earth and a particle of mass and located outside, outside Earth. This, this is R from Earth center. This F is a little cheaper as L capital lowercase m over R square. Therefore, we have another, which is really easier, and it comes by AG is a GM over R square. So we have solved it for A. Hmm. So this is the, the distance between the Earth to the Moon. So let's check this table. We have altitude. 
And uh, G, we can get gravity. Hey guys. So we have some tables here. Minor surface, which is zero latitude, zero kilometer, and uh, 9.83 in acceleration. Yeah, 9.83. It's really cool then. This kind of changes over the years, but importantly, it's just 9.8. But some professors, like my professor from my school, used to call it in 10. No problem, still, but come on. 8, 10. It only depends on your professor and how much he likes you. So, don't worry about it. Spam the Mount Everest, which is latitude every 8 kilometers. And then, latitude, sorry, for saying acceleration, it's latitude. It's not an 8. In the high screen battle, the stage is cruising, and the space shuttle, 400, 8%. Communication satellite, and so far. And to the latitude, 0 0.425. Let's check this one, how you estimate AG to our other one. Mm, as you can see, we have that some latitude. We found the ray of it, the earth, to the moon, which is 6 times 10 to the third kilometers, and the earth is the is 4 times 10 to the 5 kilometers. So, gravitational force over the gravitational field. The force in units in Newton's land. L G G M L square. Rotation figures is one of the square. Give the field and the force. Mm -hmm. As you can see we have solved it for a force or a field which is units. A Unitage force units Newton and uh, well, you go force vector form. Okay, let's check it. Okay, G is to negative GM over square F is MG G the crossbar is negative G over or crossbar here over square. Okay, the fit is in negative space whether it has mass and is this there or not. As you can see here, so we have a simple problem. Uh, okay, the problem is there also. Mm, no problem, okay, we won't do this one. So we have a rotation of three flux inverse. Let's check how much time we have done. Uh, 28 minutes, mm, what do you think? Okay, let's. Oh, we have time. So let's do this one with her. An astronaut whose height is 1.7 meters floats feet down and put in space shuttle. A distant Earth is 6.77 times 10, about 6 meters away from the center of Earth. This is the difference between the gradual acceleration at their feet and their head. We can approximate Earth's unit of our sphere as mass MA. Then from the uh, equation 13 to 11, the gravitational acceleration and distance is this one. You can see the gravitational acceleration is from that here. GMA over square, and let's simply add the equation twice. First, if you want to do square it, that's why. Okay. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So the equation of differential gives us this one and another DA is a differential change and rotation acceleration to a differential change dr and r for the answer now dr is today each and r is 77 times 10 power 6 meters. So this is the data the values we got into the equation 13 is going to find this. 
Six minutes and seven times stand power negative eleven and cube over four over kilogram per times seven square. But all this multiplied by uh, just positive five point eight three eight times ten point twenty four kilogram. This is all over our cube, which is uh, six point six seven. Uh, times 10 to the power 6 and it's cube. So let's simplify it and develop a calculation. I didn't do it, okay? And didn't do it all on the rear of this. This is the answer. Negative 4.37 times 10 and negative 6. And I'd be correct, yes, if you simplified 6 here, 6 there, you have 10, 10. Let's let this together mm -hmm. because of the MA values taken from the C appendix. This result means that the gravitational acceleration of the astronauts feed down toward the Earth, slightly greater than the gravitational acceleration of her head toward toward Earth. The difference in duration also called the tidal effect. Don't forget this one. I, I'm sorry about this, but. Uh, I don't know how to use the shortcuts with this one. This is my child effect. No, I don't like this one, it's so annoying. Hmm, <laughs> okay, right, really, now it happens. Jesus Christ. Okay, it tends to stretch her body, but the deepest is more than ever. Oh, I fucking learned this shit, you know? I forget this is really important, this one too. I tried to learn some shortcuts there, because. I mainly uh, use Linux and all the use Windows, Windows old school. But I really hate Windows. Look, I can't even control Z this shit. Come on, I did do that. Sorry guys, you can, you can forward it. Okay. Is so small that should never sell the stretching, much less suffer and pay from it. And we have another example. And the thousand not to stop the uh, fit on the same orbital radius. Specifically, so 7 times 10 that with power 6 meters about a black hole of mass. Which is 10 times our size mass. There's a difference between the efficient duration and the black hole. Don't forget, this, don't forget this value, okay? And uh, the last person. The R in number is also not being used to equation 13.6 and we must choose. Let me find this one. Let's put the values. Also, if you know, let's check the formula here. Now, this is so fucking important, okay? Let's check the formula here. Now, this is so fucking important, okay, guys? Of course, it's the same. Let's use this MH. Which is in this case. All of them. R. What was R in this case? Oh, why is it six pixels? Okay, I don't know. Yes, because. R here. And then we get a value of negative 14.5 meters per second. It is negative because the gravitational duration of the astronauts is larger than that of red. The result of the situation body will be bearable by the right back. Should you close the back hole, the situation then the will increase drastically. <coughs> so this is potential field flux, flux and inverse for them. 
to the number of a few lines if the flat with the constant that spread out in every over surface of the expanding imaginary sphere. The surface area of sphere increases like r square, has the relational field right? When the line sum area decreases by like 1 over r square. This is sphere area, 4 pi r square, source round, so here. And the energy twice as far from this field hours is spread over 4 times. The area has the 1 for intensity. Uh -huh. This is Isaac Newton versus Robert Hope. I guess who won? Guess who won this? This Fox Universe people. But no problem because Robert Hope was really cool too, but Isaac Newton won the battle. But not the war. Okay, let's see a simple result for us on a distance. We are enabled by 1 Newton here, enables 1 fourth, and decreases all the way. But, as you can see, it becomes really close to the x, but not zero. That's right. Oh my god, it's so fucking hard to do it like this. Okay, no problem. Okay, the gravitational force can find one over the square. As you can see, if we have group from algebra, we can see this is like the value of the function 1 over x. And you can highly see this shit. And there, as you know, 1 over x, it does not approach 0, but it gets, it doesn't get 0, but the approach is really, really close to it. So we have an old really really old meme i think it should be more explicit here in the step two ha 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 there is a medical course you get it you get it because it's something before okay five or six oh my god from the end jesus christ okay sorry about that one i don't want to embarrass the old meme memers So I think, yep, I think we're done here. I think we're done here, so let's have a brief description about what did we do. And then, oh, we can, no, we didn't go here, we went over the rocket science, oh my god. We went really, really small this time, but no problem. Sorry if you don't understand a little bit of this, but understand my case. I'm in college, I don't have time at all to explain, to edit all the things. And at the moment, this is all I can do. And uh, hopefully in the near future, I can have, to have time to complete my time to you, to YouTube. But I'm at work, I'm doing some projects with the Modex. Also doing this, also... I don't have time even to sleep. I only sleep like six hours per day. It's kind of good, no problem. I like that, but I'm the only one, man, that sleeps six freaking hours in this fucking door. But what the fuck is wrong with Bulbanians? Jesus Christ. So, thank you guys for sticking by with me for half. For 40 minutes, almost 40 minutes, and uh, yeah, I hope you have a great time. If you have any problem or didn't understand what I said, please let me know down below the comment. I'll try to explain it step by step. Have a great time, and goodbye. See ya.